Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I'm going to be putting all of these ABs in bags so I can put them into my uh, storage system that I have. Uh, I think there's probably about 50 bags of these ABs. I got them off of AliExpress and I actually think they could be resin. Uh, I was working on them on my stained glass cross kit and I noticed that there were some some curvy butts. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't fully know. Honestly, I don't see any dimpling on the back and that's usually a sign of acrylics. Uh, so if they are resin, it was an amazing deal because I think it was maybe $20 for a pack of 60. <clears throat> I have put some away. Well, no, they're not away away. They're shoved in the box for now uh, because they were in a kit that I just kitted down. This box is a mess. It is not organized. I will do that once I get all the special drills in there, their baggages. Uh, but for now, I'm just putting them in the box. So I'm going to push that out of the way. I'm going to move my Dr. Pepper. Hope everybody is doing well before I forget because I will forget because I just... My brain is all over the place. Uh, I even put these in order already. I, I know, who am I and what have I done with myself? Ah, uh, yes. So let's just get into it. I should probably open the Ziploc bag before I cut the, the bag of drills open. It's fine. It is fine. I did finally order a new pack of <laughs> the stickers that have the drill numbers on them. Go me so I could actually do this. And I'm not gonna try to keep these in order, putting them in their little container for now, just cause I know they're gonna get messed up and I have other ones that still need to be, you know, put into nicer bags and stickered, blah, 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 blah. So for now, my goal is to get them all out of these plastic bags and into the Ziploc bags. So, there is that. Some really pretty colors, but there are some random ones that, like who chooses the colors that they decide? Oops, keep my mouth. Who chooses the colors that the ABs, you know, oh geez, get to be made into? Like I understand the popular colors, right? But there are some kind of browns and some flesh colored ones and I'm like, really, really? those you chose that over a pretty you know pink or a pretty blue you chose the the brown I don't know nobody put me in charge which is good because I don't want to be in charge I want the least amount of responsibility possible right now because things are things are all over the place here I swear it's just you know some some stuff going on at the the hubby's work and uh, just you know <laughs> can't really talk about it because it's uh, open it first yeah it's not my place to talk about but uh, it is definitely messing with the schedules let's put it that way and I don't like my schedule to be messed with I like to know what I'm doing at what time on what day Hey, seriously, open the Ziploc bag first. Oh, goodness. But it will all work out in the end. It will. I just, normally he's on the, what do you call it? Like second shift. So he works from, you know, like one to 10. Uh, and right now he's having to probably work in the morning which is a lot different when you plan your, your day and your appointments and stuff around a certain time frame, and then it's all different all of a sudden. So that's gonna take some getting used to, and they could change it, you know, like that's another thing. It's, oh yes, you're doing this, never mind, haha, -ha, just kidding, we're changing it all. And then a few days later, it'll be, oh no, never mind, go back to this. 
And I do not thrive in that kind of environment. That is... Mm, that is not how my brain operates. I know some people can just, like, chaos, fast-paced, stress, like, they are on top of it and that's when they do best. That is not how I do. I don't do that <laughs> well at all. It's like, ooh, I just realized, oh, don't spill, don't spill. I just realized this is the same, almost the same color as my Pippi the Crafty Peep release paper from Bee's Crafty Corner. Uh, there will be a link in the description box if you want to go check her Etsy shop out. There are lots of amazing release papers over there, even some other creator release papers. And if you are interested, just lay these out right here, uh, the Pippi the Crafty Peep costume set is also available. There is a Google form if you would like a set until I run out and then I then the, the form will say that I don't have any more. Uh, they are free. I do not ask for money for them and you get all four and you know some extras obviously. Uh, it's just my way of spreading happy mail to many. So, but once they're gone, they are gone because uh, I can't afford to be to be ordering another set. <laughs> uh, and that will be the last, seriously, you think I know how to open the Ziploc bag. Uh, that will be the last Pippi stickers for the year. Oopsie, almost spilled those. Yep. I mean, my favorite is obviously Dr. Pipper. some reason because I'm left-handed I cannot pour these with my right hand I would spill them all over if I even tried which I don't fully understand I mean I can do some things you know with the opposite hand but pouring stuff not so much not so much I would definitely order these again if I needed to uh, but I know there's also there's so many different ah um there's so many different sellers and stuff that you could order drills from nowadays but if these really are resin that's that that's an amazing deal so I don't know but I really like I really don't I don't know okay so here I mean I don't see any butt dimples I do not. And they really weren't that tabby or, um, oh, I did the wrong number. I did 606 and not 608. Well, I'm glad I didn't put the stickers away, away. Goodness gracious, six. Okay, let's put 606 back in here. You just go back in there and we'll pretend like that did not happen. Another reason why you double check your numbers. I hope everybody's weather is cooling down. Uh, we, well, it is still, it's still September, like mid-September here. Actually, it's Friday the 13th. And uh, the weather has been cooler, thank goodness. I don't do heat very well, so I am fine with fall, fall weather trickling in. We normally do not get overly cold. I mean, occasionally, yeah, we'll get some 30 degree or lower days, but we just, usually it's not too bad, but you know, with climate change and all of that ah, you never know what it is going to do and even though you know the the experts predict oh yes it's going to be a an el nino a la nina i don't mean jack 
I pretty much figure I wake up and I see what the weather's going to be. Because there are plenty of times that they predict something and then it goes completely a different way or doesn't happen at all. So, yeah. And our area is... Our area gets bad because it's so hilly. So if it snows, we're screwed because there's so many hills and... Uh, it's just the roads were not built for snow. Uh, so a lot of times, if even there's just a little bit of snow or ice, they delay school or they cancel school completely because it's not safe, you know, for the school buses and all that. But it definitely, it definitely messes with, you know, working parents who maybe don't get to just call in sick because the school, you know, didn't want to take a chance on things. But we actually, they actually st finally started doing built-in snow days, which is nice. Because then if it does snow, ah, seriously, it's like I can't talk and work at the same time. Then, you know, at least then you're not trying to make up, you know, five days at the end of the school year. Because that is, that's frustrating as a parent, you know, because you're trying to maybe schedule a, a vacation or, or something. Because, you know, they don't want you to take your kids out of school during school. Heaven forbid. So then if you, you know, schedule something and then school goes late, well, then you, either your kids miss the end of school or you have to reschedule your vacation. And that's not always the easiest thing to do. Because sometimes you got to schedule things way in advance. I think it was my son's, I don't know, kindergarten or first grade year he got sick so many times so many times you know because it was just probably being around a bunch of other kids and adults and you know people people send their kids to school with you know fevers and all sorts of stuff but uh, he kept getting sick and I wasn't gonna send him to school if he felt you know like he was gonna puke and I wasn't going to, you know, they said you're not allowed to send them if they have a fever for X amount of, you know, days or whatever. So I was following the rules and I got a, I got a note from the school and they said, you know, that he had missed, I don't know, it was like 10 days of school and that they were going to, you know, like put me on a list or something to watch because, you know, I could, I could get in trouble if he missed more than a certain amount of days and so I took it to the office and I was like, really? And I mean, it wasn't the office's fault, right? This is just a generic thing that the school district sent. And they're like, yeah, we know. It's it's frustrating, you know. I mean, obviously, he's was he's been sick. So, but, you know, I mean, and I get it. Because some people will just not send their kids to school. Or their kids might miss, you know, weeks at a time or whatever. That's a little different, but... I was like, we're not, you know, and I get it because some kids will, you know, if they don't go to school, then they have a harder time learning and then they get behind and you don't want anyone to get behind. I'm like, he's, no, he's fine. Just, <laughs> they were like, yeah, we know. Just, you know, try not to, you know, pull him out of school for no reason or, you know, keep him home if he's not sick. And, and I said, well, do you want me to send him if he's sick? If he, you know, he has a fever, you want me just to, you know, give him a bunch of Tylenol and knock that fever down so he can come to school for part of the day so the, the district can get their, their funding. And they're like, no, it's just, it's dumb. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm like, yeah, it is dumb because here I am trying to do, you know, I'm trying not to get all the other people sick potentially. Because I know that other people aren't, you know, thinking about, you know, my family's well-being. And if, you know, we have people at home who, you know, maybe can't afford to get sick. Uh, my mom didn't live with us at the time. Now she does because we, we bought a house together so she could live with us. Uh, but if she would have lived with me, I definitely would have had to keep him home uh, if everybody in the class was sick, you know. I mean, he could bring home some nasty stuff. And if she has respiratory issues, you know, I mean, that would not be good at all. So, 
sometimes you're you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Ow. Alright. There are some really pretty colors in here. Oh, the pinks and the teals just they warm my little heart. I think there's supposed to be about a thousand drills per bag. I have not counted them, so I don't know for sure about that. That's what it said anyway. So if somebody wants to count them, let me know. You can come over and count my drills. You know, I always hope they're being honest with the measurements and the stuff, but when you have a, a machine you know, mass, mass producing, you're going to have screw ups. It's just, it's just going to happen. Where's that? Look at that. We got the 970s, 975, like this brown. Like who thought? Let's make the brown have an AB coating. I mean, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if I've ever actually used brown ABs. So maybe it looks amazing in the right painting. I don't know. Now, come on, pinch. There's that. Go in there. Come on, push. Push, push, push. Yes. I was a little nervous to leave the house today, honestly, because I had to go to the post office. I had to go to the grocery store. And then I had a kid homesick. They wanted Wendy's. But it's Friday the 13th. And yesterday, I I don't know what was in the air in our area, but there were two different school lockdowns because of weapons. Uh, and both instances had in fact, weapons, like it wasn't just somebody reported it, but it wasn't real. No, they were real. Uh, and then there were two accidents within probably five miles of our house. One, there was a hit and run and it was a pedestrian got hit by a car and the owner of the car fled, I think on foot. And then there was I don't know if there was an accident or some kind of spill, but apparently there were eight cop cars and there were helicopters. And I'm like, what is going on around here? I can't, it's like, I don't live in the ghetto. What's going on? You know, it's just, ugh. so and then there was just work stuff at my husband's work. And he's like, yeah, people are, you know, doing X, Y, Z. I'm like, I'm staying home. I ain't going out. But then I realized I had to go out. So. I was like, well, I'm not going out and doing anything that's not absolutely necessary because the crazy is thick out there and I do not need to get caught up in any of that. I will just lock the doors and stay inside. <laughs> but, you know, you don't really get to do that very often, but it would be amazing if I was allowed to do that. Just lock myself inside and make sure I have you know, I got Dr. Pepper, I got snacks, I got internet, I got, I got diamond paintings. So then, woohoo. Oh, geez, I didn't open it. Come on. I realized I did not put all these stickers on the right side of the bag. So there's, there's a, there's a tall side. This back part is a little bit taller than the front. It's not the end of the world and I'm not going to go through and change them around because they don't care that much. But if you do care, then you should pay attention to stuff like that. Okay. You stay in there. 3830. Yeah, like this color is kind of a weird rusty reddish brown. Dang it, you didn't open it. Mm. Come on. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. What is going on? I'm 
not big on like believing in like you know Friday the Thirteenth, you know bad luck, you know walking under ladders, black cats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I really, really don't buy into that stuff, but still, sometimes it's like you know just to be safe, I'm just gonna just gonna stay in my own lane, you know, just in case. Oh no, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wow, that was actually way faster. It's amazing if there's not static, how fast something can go. Oh, see, and then that's another thing is these didn't have any static. And I don't know if I've ever had resin dress. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. No poop. I saw, I saw a curved one. Where'd it go? Oh, jeez. Come on. I saw a curved one. I did. No, no. Oh, okay. Let's go like this. I did. I swear I did. I'm not just hallucinating because I did eat lunch. I did. Let's see if we can find it. It's going a little treasure hunt, if you will. I will say the backs of these are very, they are definitely not clean looking. They are kind of a mess, but you know, for 20 bucks, beggars can't be choosers. Am I not going to be able to find it? No. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. And this is a Bella Art Dana Cole slash diamonds tray, if anybody's interested. There is that okay this so then this this is a bag of random mixed ab's that i have um and i don't well some of them a few of them may have like this one has 60 606 but most of them do not have names on them because some of them are mixed and some of them were diamond art club and you know their AB numbers are weird anyways. I think now they're actually not doing that. So that's a that's not a right now project. Uh, but I will I will get that sorted. Let's see. Is there any other? Oh, there are. So see, like I have these. Yeah, this box is a mess, and I gotta clean it up. But uh, for now, I think that is. <laughs> That's going to be good right now because that's about all my intention span can handle. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I bagged up those. I honestly thought it would take at least an hour. So I'm, I'm actually shocked that it didn't. Uh, yay, no static. Woohoo, party, party. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Things are going to get awkward and weird. So I will see you guys again. If you have not, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. And I will see you again very, very soon. Big awkward hugs. Bye, guys.